and right feeling in myself. And exchanging this right understanding and right feeling with the other. This is my program for happiness. Not physical facility. Physical facility is still required. For what? For this. For what? For nurturing the body. And for communicating. Mm. Right utilization. Communication is one part of right utilization of the body. For nurturing the body, for protecting the body, one more thing. So for protecting the body, for nurturing the body, and right utilization of the body. Some physical facility may be required. I will correct my program. This physical facility cannot be a source of continuous happiness. So if I am able to see the reality as it is, then I can correct my program with all that I am saying. Our dependence or our assumption that I am body can be corrected. Our assumption that physical facility will result in respect, bigger car or bigger house or something like that. So we can correct it. So this is some part of what we have discussed so far. What else did you observe in the video? <coughs> Based on the appearance, uh, the solution was worked out, the fault was worked out. That is why, because of the deforestation, uh, we were having problem of the uh, water sources, resources were overused, overconsumed, then there was a pollution, the pollution was due to the factories, and then they moved the factories to the other countries, which they thought that this will solve their problem, but it would create the whole, uh, you know, environment. Again, this is going back. With, uh, this is going back to the problem. Mm -hmm. And then, then the taxes that which they have collected was used to fuel the tank to kill somebody else. Fifty-one percent or more. Yeah. Somebody was telling me so it's fifty-five percent. Is there something that uh, was not based on the, uh, which is natural acceptance today? Based on assumption, it is to be really ask natural acceptance, and we'll find that they want to live in relationship, and not in opposition. Everybody is human being. Some wrong assumptions. Other people have also made some wrong assumptions. The big question is for us, are we living in the same way or are we, you know, do we have the right assumption? Do we have a way of living which is sustainable, green and all that? That we have to ask ourselves. And what is the direction? What is the direction that we are ourselves going and putting our children in what direction are we putting them? It is a bigger question. Somebody else is doing something, that is one part. But what am I doing? It is more important question. for us, for each of us. Are we also still focusing on you know, <coughs> making decisions for our children or uh, 
putting the same assumptions that we have in them? Or are we making effort for them to self-explore themselves and be authentic? That is the bigger question. So, what is the other observations from the video and the answer to this third part of the... So I asked you to observe three things. One is what is happening in the video. Second thing is, are we able to observe what we have been discussing in the video or not? And the third thing is, how are we living ourselves? All these three are important for us. example, what has happened in Punjab, the state of Punjab which is producing so much of grain, we are using, we are using so much of this uh, urea and pesticides, insecticides, all that, that the ground water has become polluted. We went to a place called uh, Batinda. They said, don't drink this water, we will give you bottled water. Because you know, we have created it ourselves. That is one major problem. At one point in time, water from Batinda used to be taken to Patiala for the Maharaja. He used to like to drink that sweet water. Now nobody can drink that water. It becomes so polluted. That is one problem. Another problem that has happened there is that every third person or so Every, almost every family has got somebody or the other who has cancer. There is a train that goes from Batinda to Bikaner. It's called Cancer Special. I mean, what are we doing? See, this problem that we had, that there isn't enough food. We are putting urea in that to try to get some more food. And this cancer and all that has come out of it. And it's very rampant now. Almost every family in Punjab has got somebody who is suffering from cancer. My mother died of cancer. Yes, cancer. From Ludhiana. My mother was from Ludhiana. Well, my father is from UP. My mother is, was from Punjab. very close to us, it's not that. And in my education, I studied at IIT Delhi, B.Tech and M.Tech I did from IIT Delhi. And that is supposed to be a you know, very nice college. And we used to think that we know everything and all that. But that's not the case. So we, we didn't know. I mean, we never paid attention to this. Was, was not there in our curriculum. So that's why it's you know, important for it to come to education so that this gets, that we are able to know the reality or experience the reality, realize the reality, realize what is real, correct our assumptions. And based on that, the recognition and fulfillment will be in line with that. Otherwise we are making wrong assumptions because this connection is not there. Mm -hmm. An example of uh, I would like to share, the, share with you, but I think all the colleagues uh, yeah. back behind know that this has happened. Uh, when the agriculture and uh, Animal husbandry program took place in Bhutan first time. So it was driven away by the desire to have more milk and uh, more production 
from a unit area that you have to have double, triple yield production. That was the uh, idea. Uh, that was the idea. So based on that, fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, urea, all came in. Then animal husbandry, they, they said that the breed that Bhutan have uh, is not going to give a better production of the milk. So we brought the Australian Jersey cows, you know. So when we brought the Australian Jersey cow, then we need the pastures. So we had to bring the pastures from outside, which also was a foreign lane to the natural, uh, you know, uh, natural Yeah, yes. And then, then in order to now to because this has a more disease, so our Buddhist people didn't know how to now manage the disease. So we have to send somebody else to train, and for that we have to bring the vaccines. So all these problems, uh, you know, developed and multiplied yeah. just because of the desire to have the more production of the milk. So similarly, I think this has also happened. Uh, the agriculture. And even for uh, self, if we look into the ourselves, uh, it is always to do with the first uh, based on the appearance that somebody has a good house, somebody has a big car. So we also wanted to have a big car and a big house. So based on that, then you start doing something else. So the senses that we should have sense, I would like to put it in the sensorial. Uh, satisfaction. Yeah, Just yeah, for the yeah. sensorial satisfaction, we end up doing so much physical, you know, we have given so much of importance in the physical thing. And that production is known as a development in Bhutan for many years. And then we have forgotten the development of inner self. Exactly. So this is what I think the uh, problem that we have. Yeah. What we are saying that yes. we can understand what is development so this need to be this uh, type of uh, uh, idea or the thinking. Uh, is, uh, these are the well researched for more than 35 or 45 years of your thinking that we have come up with such an idea. This need to be spread to the policy makers, decision makers, those who have a, people who have, have a power, so that they could focus more on the uh, whole system. Thank you. Thank you, 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 Thank Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Content of the video. I think precisely to counter this kind of problem, uh, I think the plan has come up with the DNA loss of your development. I think exactly to counter this kind of development for our life. And uh, what we are doing, I, think I can think of at chief level, is one is as a nation, Bhutan as a nation, we have this loss of it in place. And I think uh, coming down to the institutions and organizations and uh, we are supposed to do more strategies and activities. Uh, so once we have these strategies and activities uh, for an organization, uh, organization will include uh, colleges and schools. And I think uh, we individuals are part of the institutions. So consciously or unconsciously, uh, tangibly or intangibly, uh, we are actually beginning to counter uh, some of those uh, developments. So I, I think uh, we are on the top. Yeah. Very happy to hear that. Very nice and discussion on this. So there is ongoing work going on. Yeah. That is important. We have to start from ourselves. We have to start from our own self. What I am doing in myself. Do I have this clarity about you know, how things are? What are my assumptions? What am I thinking? And what am I doing? 
then we can see for ourselves the result. Result. If you think that happiness or unhappiness is result of this is just a natural outcome of whatever we are knowing or not knowing. Natural outcome of what we are assuming or not assuming. Natural outcome of what we are thinking or not thinking. What we are doing or not doing. Going on all the time. Like Ganeshi mentioned this example. I am thinking about revenge. I am just thinking about Am I happy or unhappy? I don't have to do anything. It's not a result. It's just going on as a side effect or as an indicator. I am doing, right, doing the right thing or wrong thing. I am doing the wrong thing, I am in a state of happiness. If I am doing the right thing, if I am doing the right thing, I am in a state of happiness. If I am doing the wrong thing, I am in a state of unhappiness. Just direct. Without this or with not enough clarity about this, we are working through this assumption, thinking about things, and then doing those things. So these things up to here, it is happening inside us. It, nobody else is involved in it. They can't see also. What I am thinking, you can't see. But you can see what I am doing, what I am talking, what I am doing, all that you can see. What I am thinking or what my assumptions are, won't know. I won't know your assumptions. So I think that is very important. That naturally, we have this desire to be happy and prosperous. Based on our assumptions, we make a program for fulfilling that desire. If this assumption is correct, then our program is correct. And the outcome from that program is also leads to my happiness and it leads to happiness of other people also. On the other hand, if the assumption is not correct, for example, an assumption that physical facility is equal to happiness or let us say, Another assumption might be that this is one way in which we get happiness. Another thing we might think of is excitement, entertainment is equal to happiness. We make that assumption, it will work for them. We will think about how to create excitement. How to? So, for example, you know, when we are sitting with a group of friends, we try to create some excitement, some joke, something. And usually, that joke is pulling somebody's leg who is there or not there. <laughs> what do you think? That happens or no? Because we have assumed that excitement is equal to happiness. <laughs>
start working for it. No, which one is easier actually? Let me ask you this. This is simple. How many wrong answers are there for one plus one? How many wrong answers are there? So knowing all the wrong answers is not equal to right answer. <laughs> so if we know the right answer, and that's it, finished. It is very small. Wrong answers we can keep looking at. You know. so what we are talking about is this, this part. Right answer. It is very small actually. If you see, Content of this reality, very small, not very big. And on the basis of that, this, what we call Samadhan, Jnan. So this is bigger, but it is still very small. It is definite. Diamond is hidden by lots of uh, stones, stones of uh, lots of obstacles like anger, greed, jealousy, whatever. Yeah. Until then, unless we, uh, you know, take off, pick up all the stones, we cannot find out that diamond. Yes. What we need to look at, I'll ask you this again. This, and in my assumptions, if I have some wrong assumptions, over here if I have some wrong assumptions, which one is more fundamental, understanding what is right or finding out my wrong assumptions and trying to get rid of them? Understanding what is right or removing the wrong assumptions, finding out the wrong assumptions and removing them. Both are important, but first you need to do this, find out what is right. And if there are some wrong assumptions, then finding them out and removing them. That is the purification that was being talked about. Both have to be done. This has to be done and this has to be done. Which one would you do first? Number one you will do first. In the absence of this, even if we know that we have some wrong assumption, because we can see this pollution and this and that, what to do, I don't know. find out, you know, what is, there are two ways to find this out, this and this is the same thing. Right? So you have to start off what is right, then after that what is Exactly. Because you won't be able to evaluate the wrong answer also. If you don't know what is right, you think that this is right. For example, this, what I indicated about rice, okay, or about transportation, or if I get big car, I will be respected, you know, I'll be happy. So we have so many cars. Now what? Now what? You know. So, <laughs> but that's what we are used to. We are used to this loop actually. We are used to this loop that problem, then we try to work for solution, that creates some more problem, and then we keep on working in this loop. 
what we have to do is to get out of that loop. Unless we have, you know, these four steps, and this won't be a loop the next. This will be temporary, as long as the problem is there. For example, right now we have, this water table has gone way down. In India it has gone way down. Okay. Now we have to fix that. How will we fix it? Once we have fixed it, if that goes away, that problem goes away, then we start making effort on, so, through these eight days we will be discussing about this. In these tutorial sessions, etc., we might pay some attention to what the problem is. But what we are essentially talking about is this, about the reality. And based on the reality, what is the program of action? What to do and how to do. Those are the only two things. Mostly about what to do, not even how to do. We are talking about what to do. About the reality. And each of us can decide. We can find out for us. <coughs> so you are right. No? You know the right answer, then why would we? You know? <laughs> like I had one of my very close relatives. Some problem with relationship. I told him that no, I don't want to know why you went into this problem. He was very afraid of me actually, you know, that elder person and all that. I told him, don't worry, you made some mistake. <coughs> yeah. It's okay, you have made a mistake, assuming it is right. By giving some punishment, <laughs> By doing something, will it enable you to do the right thing? I know it won't. So let us see, spend some effort in finding out what is the right way to live, right thing to do, and work towards it. So, I mean, he was expecting me to find out why did you do this, what did you do, and you know, all that stuff. So we have to create that opportunity to find out what is right, and then understand what is right. Then that person will have the commitment to do it if he understands, spends have enough effort on it, and then he will start doing the right thing. Like this example Ganeshi was giving about the prison. Somebody has made a mistake, what you do? Through the process, whatever process that we do, are we able to ensure that that person is capable of doing the right thing? Or we only put some punishment, hang him or something. Does it work? Is it possible? I mean, if I know how to ensure that that person can start doing the right thing, I work on it. If I don't know, then it is okay. It might be okay to so limit their problem in some localized area. For hanging, for whatever might be happening. Be considered to be wrong. We need to look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it is not enough to save the drowning babies, but someone must go out the river to uh, stop some of those who are throwing the babies in the river. So probably I think even the technically uh, people, uh, especially in the management area, people use it like root cause analysis. So perhaps I think that is what uh, we have to look at. So what you have reflected as symptom or appearance are actually at the immediate cause and then uh, intermediate causes where we are trying to address the issue. As, uh, suggested in the uh, video clip that you have shown to us. But perhaps actually what you are suggesting, all encompassing solution, perhaps making every individual to get the right notion, right understanding and the right feeling, I think it looks uh, to be the main uh, cause, root cause, to which if we can address, we would solve all the problems. Exactly. Yeah. What we are calling right understanding. <coughs> Right understanding. So, how do we get to uh, how do we get to right understanding? 
Yeah, so...